Hey, so here is another uh, story for feature acceptance. This one is our recently added validate the phone numbers are in U.S. format. That's the story name. You and I both know that U.S. format is a little bit of an ethnocentric term. It's actually a bell system, but we'll just keep going. User story. As an LLS user, I need to ensure that all phone numbers are in a 999-999 hyphen 999 format so that I can have a valid contact method and can provide quality follow-up services to LLS supporters. Assumptions. The, the assumptions are uh, meaningful and we've gone over this story several times so I won't uh, read through them today. But there's a, a couple that are worth uh, mentioning. I think the, the biggest one is, is that future-facing integrations through web forms, purchase data, or other sources, excluding MuleSoft, will adhere to this pattern. All right, so let's cruise on over to our friend QA, and let's check it out. So indeed, we are in QA, and I am in a contact record called Phone Validation Tester 2. I'm going to cruise on over to phone number. And I'm going to try and enter um, a bad phone number. Let's uh, make this one text. Uh, no way. Awesome. And now let's hit save. So I'm getting the error message. Uh, phone number should be in this format. So now let's enter, um, uh, let's say 555. 1212. So we know that some folks sometimes don't enter the area code. So let's just test that bad boy out. Save. And indeed, I'm still getting that error message. Now let's go ahead and throw in an area code. Save. Nice. So we were able to save the record and indeed check it out. Our uh, uh, friend appropriate formatting is put in for us. So now let's try adding in another phone number. Let's just test another field again. Um, another, really? And let's save. Nice. Now what happens if I put it in, and we'll make this Los Angeles, 213, and we'll go with the, Five five five, one two one two. So our expectation is that this actually should work. And indeed, it, it does work. And let's just uh, go ahead and give a, another one a shot. So let's make this one uh, seven one four. We're dreaming of Southern California. Five 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 one two one two, and let's see. Without any formatting, does it just work? And it really should. Save. Great. We indeed have the formatting as we would like, and the number to, numbers are saved. And let's just, you know, real briefly, what happens if I put in extension? So right now, the only thing we can do is simply enter the phone number. And there's some flexibility in how we enter that phone number in terms of the user experience, but we are not collecting extensions. We are not collecting non-Bell system phone numbers. This is the format. Now, let's just take another moment and take a look at this through our friend, the account contact wizard, new. So we're creating a new household, continue. So we know that we have a minimum data rule, right, that says we need to have at least you know, one piece of uh, valid contact information. So let's call this guy tester3. And let's go with uh, testy phone valid uh, eight or why not? And let's go ahead and enter a bad phone number. Let's say uh, 617555. And I forget to type the 1212. 
ooh, this is going to actually put it in the wrong field, right? That's a whole other kind of test. Well, let's go with save and close. And it's saying, no, I'm really sorry, you can't do it. Errors. Phone number should be in this format. Here we go. So let's just throw in the 1212. And let's hit save and close. And there we go. We are good. We have a household, testy phone validator, tester three household, and we have a new contact, testy phone validator, test three. And we are good. Here it is. Here's the phone number, and we have the one valid contact method, and we do have, and we do indeed know that the phone number is a valid phone number.